Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. We're back mm -hmm. to normal. Back mm -hmm. to the normal studio. Got all the stuff upstairs, brought it all back oh downstairs. So What a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> it's Atari 2600 Yay! night. We're going to be playing four brand new Atari 2600 mm -hmm. games. And they are, let me bring up my cheat sheet here, Top and Tom 2 by Thomas Yench. Oh. Uh, Diamond Craze uh, by Nano Chess and mm -hmm. Lost Kingdom by Nano Chess and an exclusive work in progress update of Krypton okay. by Darth Tom. Darth Tom. But also, we're going to be doing an After Dark. Oh, we are? Yes. <laughs> we're going to be playing uh, the demo of Jumping uh Jumping at Shadows, okay. which is just a short thing. Okay. But then we're going to be playing Stormbringer. Oh. The graphical adventure. Exciting, because I only just got to kind of poke around in exactly. it when we, when we on the Atari Age Day. So. I thought you'd be excited. I about am excited. That. That's yes. going to stretch into the evening, I feel. So, uh, and if, if there's any weirdness going on, like audio, video, let me know, because. I will explain later. But uh, the main thing is we mm. had to set all this up back again. Oh, like I see, absolutely yeah. everything. All the consoles, yeah. microphone, yeah. everything. I so. noticed the consoles are a little different. Yeah, I'm trying something else. Okay. Uh, hopefully it you works a little bit better. You can see them in the Sprite and Atari cam, but you've got your Jaguar yeah. in the middle there. Well, we're playing Jaguar tonight. That's, okay. That's the primary okay. reason cool. that's in the middle there. Cool, cool. Um... Yeah, Neo Media Budget Nano Chess's book. Yeah, we'll be talking about mm. that. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Uh, gently rolling up the screen beside Tanya Alnafara, Andrew Davy, Arkham H, Arkham Ars. Arm Scar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rose, Atari 1970, Atari, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Pocock, Calf Man 2D, Charles Adonis Mount, Charles William, uh, Cheat, Cheat Lit. La, cheat lit la, uh, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dino, Dan, if you see, Daryl, 1970, Dave, M, A, Z, Drexel, Duck, Mook, House, Isernisov, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ivory, Ivory Tower Collections, Johnny, W, C, Capirdo, J, R, M, Carl, G, Ken, Jennings, Invader, Lambda, Express, Lauren, T, D, Z, Mark, Yannis, Mark, Spacing, Mick, Muse, Mike, Law, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Swim, Mr. Zarnwood, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Mini, Nostalgic 26, Pac Man Plus, Pac Rat, VG Coog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Friendless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Smoked, 3D4, mm -hmm. Spice Rest, Ramirez, Steps, Toy Big, Teleprompter, D Train, Lowest Cartridge, The Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Teetfos, Trek MD, 2600 Vitoko 8 Bits, X Ken X, the longest list ever. Uh, literally. And if you want to add your name to the list and mm -hmm. extend that even further, yeah, a lot of people subscribe during the two day event. Uh, we're oh. over 70 subscribers. Yes. We like it, are. we clocked over it during, it's during the stream. And I was like, oh my God, 72. Yeah. And I think we I mentioned about something about 75 is when I changed something because there's too many. <laughs> Too many to talk about. I don't know what oh, I'm going to change to. Five but, more. We're going to yeah. have to see how that. Oh, thank you, Neo Media. He says we're the best channel on Twitch. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you so That's much. very nice. Um, yeah, oh, we're very we're happy focus. about that. Are we out of like focus? focus? Are we no, okay? I just forgot to do focus. I mean, the older I get, the more out of focus I'm, <laughs> I'm okay That you request? With. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, please, please, yeah. more out of focus. A little Vaseline on the lens, <laughs> you know? Um, where is it? There we go. We do have a, a poll topic. Hopefully it works. Uh, it's nothing really to do with video games. Very tangential. Is it going to work? Yay, it worked. Yay. Uh, when did you start actively using the internet? <laughs> I like your first category. 69 to 90. Well, DARPANET. DARPANET, yeah. It's a precursor. Yep. Uh, 1991 to 95. <laughs> that's 91 is when web pages started to exist. Yes. Like, literally, there was no web pages before 1991 for the public. What was it? Gopher? Was... Uh, yeah, Gopher. I, uh, I, I remember Gopher vaguely. Option three, 95 to 2000, the Windows 95 explosion, yeah. where there's a browser on the desktop, there was big explosion of dial-up, mm. people started to come on, then 2001 to 2009, and then 2010 plus. Mm. Yeah, it was all news groups. That's where I kind of uh, groups, started yeah. up as well. You need to get out of there. <laughs> she was right on an HDMI cable. I don't need any more problems, cat. Yeah. yeah. He had his birthday yesterday. Yes, he did. Atari. Atari is seven years old yes. now. Yes. He's a birthday cat. I mean, we realistically just kind of um, 
pick a day because we don't know his actual birthday. Yeah, we approximated but, from the pe from the date that we got him and how old the gotcha they dates. said. Yeah. Approximately, and we just yeah. went okay that day. Yeah. And so he's seven years old, and seven we uh, years old. Yeah. And, yeah. oh birthday yeah. treats! Of birthday treats. Um, he got a lot of treats yesterday, and you sang him happy birthday. I, yeah. You got lots of cuddles. Yes, good kitties. Can but you put just, that one down? Just like uh, when you have two kids, you have to give. Uh, both of them treats anyway so um, Sprite got just as many treats <laughs> for Atari's birthday as one Atari did. One for you. Good oh everybody's wishing you happy, happy birthday, birthday Atari. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the other Atari, the, the console, is 45 years old this year yeah. and uh, Atari itself, the company, okay, okay. is 50 years Give old. Give you one and oh. I'll make sure Atari gets one too. There you go. Um, yeah. You should celebrate cat birthdays seven times a year. Yeah. Yes, that's right. We it's pretty kind much... of a curve. It's not. It's not a, a straight seven, <laughs> one to seven. But uh, that's that'd be a fun Aww. thing to do. That's too many birthdays, though. He is a that'd couch be... scratcher. Actually, more of a couch chewer. He likes to chew the corners of couches. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. And cables. Good. He's, he's quite a chewer. Oh, okay, oh. Well, that one got dropped. <laughs> you hit one too, Sprite. Sprite is getting awfully. Oh, sorry, I'm not. Yeah, uh, that's showing. okay. Showing the cat cam. It's getting super fluffy in the face now. Oh, I have to set up the cartridges. Good time to do it. Yeah. Who's next? Who's next? Hit, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Atari's just like, uh, birthday treats? Oh, good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> birthday treats? More birthday treats? Go ahead. Ring the bell. Atari. Good kitty. Yeah. Good cat. Yeah. Luckily, um, luckily there's a show Two tonight. More. And we'll get into that in a second, because it was barely going to happen tonight. Try again. Um, somebody in the chat said, I'm Good surprised kid. you're even having a show tonight. Mm. Well, Atari. so am I, actually. Hit the, Hit the bell. Okay, that's good enough here. Uh, that's all I got. Good kitties. That's all you got? Yeah, that's all I got for now, but we'll give them more later. Sprite is so shiny. He is, like, luminescent. Oh, he is. You can see Black, his silky luminescence in the in the... I know. You can more see his shine than the black. I know, I know. He's a it's, little void of a cat, but he he's is so shiny. Cute. Yeah, he and just, he's got a black squirrel tail. He's got the big poofy, poofy tail right now. Oh my goodness! It is. He's, his probably, tail's bigger than him. Almost. Yeah, it is just taking over his body. <laughs> yeah. It's more tail than cat. Yeah. And the last one. Good kitty. Good kitty. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Aww. Good cat. Okay, there we go. I've got them all set up now. Okay, let's go back to the main screen there. Okay, so what's uh, first on the agenda? We have um, a package. Oh, did you answer what? Uh... Did I answer? No, no, we didn't you talk didn't. About that actually. Uh, in the poll. Um, I mean, I attempted to send an email an email through mm. FidoNet during the BBS days, I may have successfully done that, which would predate, would be like in the, um, oh no, no, that would be after. So uh, when I went to university, they gave me an email address uh. Uh, that was in 91. Mm. And it was before I knew that there were web browsers. So I used Gopher um, and mostly knew about news groups. Yeah. So you could find uh, information about video gaming yeah. on news groups. Yeah. Um, so that's when I started using it was in uh, 1991. Um, mm. I mean, I used BBSs before that. Some BBSs communicated over the internet. Mm. You're able to send an email and it would encapsulate it mm. uh, through some means. I've totally forgotten now. And then through the internet and they would dump it onto the BBS back on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's see what people are... Yeah. And this is kind of what I figured. Yeah. I'm Actually, more... more... more people than I thought were previous um, to 1991. People who, who were probably... Pre-web. Possibly working in academia, too, right? Correct. Like, like that, yeah. That's a possibility. I know for me, I did dabble in the early 90s, but I never really, like, got 
into it and learned how to use it until I hit university, which was the yeah. later 90s. So I would I would probably say three for myself, even though probably. I knew of it. I knew a little bit about it. I I had a computer and I did log into like a free net that existed in, in Ottawa, but I didn't really know what to do with it. Yeah. So I did. Because that's really. when it took off is when... Yeah. It was more friendly on the desktop, and you didn't have to somehow download a browser because it wasn't included in yeah. in uh, the operating systems, really, at that point in the early 90s. So yeah. you had to make an effort and know about it and sign up to a dial-up that had internet. Yeah. So it was, it was for the people in the know. Yeah, really. and I wasn't in the know, really. And then when I went to university... She's it much younger than me, so. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm not that much younger. Um, but 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 then that yeah. took off fast, and before I knew it, I was illegally downloading all the songs, and uh, yeah. our residents got T4 lines, and then that was it. That was just the end of everything at that yeah. point. Oh, and Net Zero, AOL, yeah. yeah, all those names. Oh yeah, AOL. What else? Um, uh, so yeah. first place, 52%, 91 to 95, which makes a lot of sense. The advent of web pages. Uh, second place, which I didn't expect, but with 35%, 69 to 1990 with the uh, pre-web. And then third place, 11%, 95 to 2000. And then zero after 2001 for the last options, which I kind of figured I kind of figured crowd. for this crowd. Yeah. 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 So we've got a box here. We've got mail. Let's see what's in this. I know what's in this. Sometimes I know, sometimes I suspect, and sometimes I'm like, did I order something? Did I order anything? I can't remember. But this one I know. Let's see if we can nicely get this package open. Angel Fire. I don't know what that is. Uh, is that a Angel browser? Fire, no, it was a website oh. that you could set up your own web pages oh, on. Sense. I, I had a GeoCities uh, web page. Very similar to GeoCities. Yeah. <laughs> Unless like I'm Geo mistaken, and there, there is a, um, a dial-up at the same time yeah. called Angel Fire, but I'm pretty sure it was a, a web page. There we go. Got lots of packaging. And the main packaging here. I'm surprised you don't have a moratorium on unboxings after last weekend. <laughs> oh, well, this yeah. one came in uh, in in the meantime on the weekend or just before the weekend. That yeah. wasn't included in that. Yeah. But well, yeah. we won't be looking. We won't be opening it yet, yeah. but we'll just be kind of looking at it. Maybe we'll open it. Open it a little bit, maybe. Yeah, did enough unboxings. 24 games. Oh, my goodness. And we'll talk about that in a second as well. Oh, goodness. Where is... There it is. I'm trying to find the end piece. I mean, I do appreciate when it's well-wrapped. Oh, you don't want to broke it. No. <laughs> or so damaged. I never complain about how no. well it's wrapped. It's no. just... You wind up with a lot of plastic, unfortunately. <sighs> oh, no. Another layer. Another taped layer. Well, let's talk about the weekend then. I'll unwrap this. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was it was pretty epic. Uh, if everybody anybody stayed was, for the whole twelve it was really good. hours. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, we talked to so many developers. Mm -hmm. Twenty four separate uh, Atari Age game releases, um, and we talked to a developer for each one. Um, one developer was text typed up his responses. Mm -hmm. That was Cyrano Jim. Mm -hmm. We're going to play one of his games tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and another one, Andrew Davey, uh, sent a video in. But which I think lovely. everyone else was video. Yes, which oh, is Oh, one so... was audio only. Um, that was amazing, the turnout. It was every oh, single it's, person it's, was represented. It's wonderful, and it's so nice to chat directly with people. Yeah. Uh, and that people were willing to come on the show and, yeah. and talk, too. It's just so nice. And um, and playing all the games. Yeah, well, Tammy so got to play all the games. Fun. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. I love games Atari that I haven't Day. even played. It's low, low, um, well, low effort. stress, low effort for, for me. you. For yeah. me, it's massive stress. <laughs> massive I support effort. him and do what I can. But That's right. He usually is like, I'm like, can I help you? He's like, no, no I've got to do it myself. Okay, fine, fine. Because <laughs> you know those tasks where it's like, well, I, I do yeah. need help, but... If I yep. do it wrong, then he'll get really upset. No, 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 I wasn't going to make that point. Um, <laughs> 
sense. Well, no, but you like to make sure things are done a certain way. Yeah. And, like, you don't have the time to, like, teach me how to do stuff would, as well, too, right? It would right? take it more would, time yeah, to yeah. teach you to do the thing. Yeah. Unless it's something I've done before. Yeah. yeah. Tanya plays Atari Day, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And she does not mind that at all. Oh, not at all. I have no issues there. Oh. I help him with setup and, and yeah. you know, getting all the lights up and plugging stuff in. And Here we go. It green is screens. Orbital War Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. from nice. Leandro Camera. And so let's take a look at this. Let me open it up on the, on the webcam here. Nice. Neo Media, we look forward to your game and you being on the show. Uh, wow. Pseudographic says, unfortunately, I only watch on YouTube, but YouTube's fine too. You, yeah, you can't always you be seen up. live. So, Orbital War, which we nice. have played. Uh, Darcy and I played this one, I believe. I don't know if you have, but. I'd have to see the. Uh... Game screen? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's the. It's got a bit of a matte box to it too, which is nice. Yes. I like that. And the cat is now amongst all the bubble wrap. Oh, of course he is. He's like, oh, this is fun. So Sprite gets a game too. Really nice colors on that cartridge. Uh -huh. That's upside down. Awesome font there. Um, you get uh, some pieces. I think these are tokens for the board game because there's a mm. board game component for this. And you played it. Oh, I don't remember that. So you played it with Darcy? Yeah. Did you well, have we, the board game component? No, we didn't. Oh, well, so you we, have to bring him back for that. I well, mean, well, it depends on the day. Yeah, true. But I mean, um, he, he is the board game guy. Uh, true. So. That's, that is, <laughs> that true. is his, that is his, um, what was I going to say? Profession. So, so professional here. board gamer. Manual. Looks very, very nice. There we go. And you get a sticker with it. Raw War Series. It is one in the number of series of games. And here's a top secret package um, that is literally sealed. Like you have to op break into this and kind of wreck it to open it. So uh, I think that's like hints and secrets. And you get, this is the board game part of it, the map that you use the tokens on, I think. There we go. So we're going to be playing that in an After Dark uh, coming up, because we have played it without the board game. But there is a competition yep. um, oh. associated with it. <clears throat> ah. So that's what we're going to be doing, is okay. the competition part of that. So there's a goal. And I love playing games when there's a goal, yeah, I do too. like a patch or a high score we have to beat, something like that. Um, so the competition, let me just uh, bring it up here. I think Atari's had too many uh, treats. Oh. He's lying up against the wall out there. Watch that cat. I know. Um, so cat. it's uh, in the uh, forums, all the information about the competition that will be taking part in uh, coming up. There it is, Orbital War. And uh, Landro Camera has posted all the information there if you'd like to take part in it. Very nice. Yes. Um, so we'll get, be getting more to that when we do the competition. Mm. Um, so today was, uh, very, very, uh, stressful, um, setting oh. all this up. Um, I do have some like film work that I'm doing, oh, I but, see, I see. uh, that was not the stressful part. Really? Really? That is part of it, but. Well, cause you had to do it. Yeah. Uh, observant people may or may not notice that there's a different upscaler <gasps> there. Oh no. It's the old, um, Frame Meister. Oh no. Because the retro tank that we used upstairs for streaming on Atari Age Day does not work anymore. Oh, <gasps> that's what? It powers on, <gasps> but has no HDMI output. Gives nothing on the screen. Nothing at all. That's it doesn't get good. recognized. So how how expensive is that brick you're oh, holding in your hand right now? A lot. <laughs> oh, a lot. I hope I hope there's a fix for it. Um, I even. Like I read quickly the FAQ today, a couple hours ago, when okay. I discovered like two hours ago this did not work. <gasps> no. I um, even no. did a factory reset 
of okay. it. Okay. Did nothing. Oh, no. Which is disappointing, because then I have to set up everything all over oh, again. Oh, no. Um, but, uh, yeah, just nothing. So I'm going to have to um, mm. contact um, Brian Chi, I okay. think his name is, okay. um, to see what I can do here. And if not, I have to send it off for repair, because yeah. this is an amazing device Mike Chi, yeah. that needs... Mike Chi, not Brian Chi. Yeah. Mike Chi. Um, because this is an amazing device, and um, it's just not working. Oh, actually, you can plug in through USB and interface with the computer. So that'll be my next step. And you can uh, upload a different firmware. So maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. Maybe it just got upset because I moved it upstairs and downstairs. I, I hope. Yeah, Atari Age Day Friday, my device. I don't know. It, it worked all through Atari Age Day. Then I brought it down here, plugged it in. It turned on. Mm. No output. <laughs> just no video output. So it Why? could be a solder point inside that Something just shook, shook loose, kind just of. Just shook loose from moving it from down to up to down again. Um, at that point, I have to send it in because I'm not going to be messing no, no, with no, the no. internals there. No, I'm it's not it's qualified. an expensive device too. Like it you want to make sure it's working. So, yeah. yeah, I just thought of that right now, Jesse. That um, <laughs> doing a firmware because it should still communicate. Like if it's mm. just the HDMI, it mm. should still talk to the computer and go, hey, I'm still here. I can do a firmware update. And now that I've uh, done factory reset on it, I have to do a firmware update anyway. anyway. Yeah, true. Oh, so that was two oh. hours ago. Yeah. And I had to scramble to get all this set up again with the old Frame Meister and make sure it all worked, get all the cabling done. And I just did the basics. I got the 2600 set up and the Jaguar set up. And it seems to look okay. We'll see. Uh, but if it doesn't get seen on the computer, then uh, that isn't good. That's true. Uh, I'd love to have one, but $300 is too steep. Yeah, and that's American. <laughs> oof, oof. It's even yeah. worse now. Yeah. Glad I got it when I did. Roar. Yeah, a two, two <laughs> yeah. times mini is good. Hey, yeah. Cyrano. Hey. Awesome. Um, so, speaking of Jesse and ITC, yes. my Intellivision and Atari 5200 have now both been upgraded and modded. <laughs> By Evertower Collections. Yay. The Intellivision has been upgraded to the latest and greatest RGB orange peel board from Crayon King. Mm. And the 5200 has the UAV S video mod plus the power mod. It's a four port system. Um, so we'll be able to play four player Atari 5200 games soon. Wow. Yes. Okay. So that's cool. going to be very cool. That's cool. And we did uh, use a two port for the Atari Age Day yes. through RF. And um, ITC said uh, that actually looked pretty good through RF, and I agreed. I mm -hmm. when I when I plugged it in, I was like, "Oh wow, it looked, it this looked was a bad. very clean RF." Yeah, yeah, yeah it looked pretty not bad. Intellidisks, here we come. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, four-person curling. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've been waiting for uh, that to be done for a four-player day, so we can have all nice. the four-player. Is that games. a real thing? Four-person curling. Yeah, I think it's four people. Is it? it? It should be. I mean, uh, curling is usually f f two on two and two. No, four aside. Four aside. Yeah. Okay. But well, I mean, we'll you see. could play it against the computer, or yeah. How many four-player mm -hmm. games? Um, a few enough to do a full show on it. Yeah. That's for sure. Cool. Uh, Cool. So uh, I have some photos actually of the mods. If anybody is couples, couples tennis, in yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I don't think there is um, tennis, unfortunately, uh, for it. So this uh, would be the uh, 5200. There's the S video uh, composite and uh, left and right audio. There's the internals of it. Super. It does super clean work, Jesse. Um, there's some soldering. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a chip that needed to be replaced. It was burnt out. Mm -hmm. It's good I sent it to an expert uh, so he could fix that. There is the power uh, replacement for the four port because if people know the four port used to have to hook up through the RF to this box that fed the power and the video signal both ways well, the video one way and powered the other on one line and plugged into this box that zapped you if you weren't careful. Very crazy. Uh, there's the old RF. Uh, there is the uh, power um, power port mm -hmm. on the back mm -hmm. and a switch for different pallets. Mm -hmm. 
So there's two options for different palettes. And he used awesome. the channel switch, the old channel switch, to ch uh, pick which palette you want. Cool. Uh, there's the uh, power module, yeah. which can be disconnected very nicely. Oh. Because when On you take inside. out the board, because the power is oh, soldered, yes. you have to have a way to and, lift and, the board yeah, out if you need enough, to mod it. Uh, there's some more. No, closer no, and closer. the switch ah. for pallets is what? No, the switch for pallets is on the television. Oh, okay, that does nothing then. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I got mixed up. Uh, here's the um, UAV board. Nope. Yeah, UAV board there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the uh, output for Ball Blazer. Mm. And he says it's very crisp. And he sent it a video. It looks very sharp, yeah. He sent a video, which I may link when, uh, when it gets here so mm. people can see it. Cool. There's another uh, shot of the internals. Uh, this, I believe, is the Intellivision. The old ribbon cables at the top. He replaced the ribbon cable because that. It was completely coming like apart split? and fraying. Yeah, it was like, coming apart. So wow. it was destined to fail. Interesting. In a very short order. Wow. So that's great um, that uh, he replaced that. There is the RGB board for the Intellivision. Nicely fed through a little uh, hole there. There's some more uh, shots of the RGB board. Looks like a half open fruit roll up, yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, there's the RGB board, and then you can see on the right-hand side, there is the 9-pin connector, which connects to a, a Sega Genesis uh, cable, which are super common, Okay. Uh, which goes to SCART. Okay. Um, so it already has a built-in great connector, and which is very easy to get. Mm. There's a nice overview of the board. It's quite uh, a... There's the output. An interesting board. It Like, all this, the, the points... Board. Mm -hmm. No, like just the green board. I, I don't oh, know anything yeah. about about circuit boards. It's just wiring but, going. But it's from all one... wavy. Like often they're they're more. That's true. They're more like. Um, that looks like hand drawn. Geometric it? and straight, but it's like like it, there's something kind of beautiful about that board Especially and how wavy the all the left, connections right? are. Goes, I like, know. Like rivers. I, I that's that just seems uncommon to me. Maybe that's not uncommon, but it's uh, kind of cool. There's looking. the output. They were designed uh, by hand originally. There you go. Wow, every board. That's amazing. So Curvy traces. That's I I, I didn't know the term hand for drawn it. Hand-drawn traces yeah. on the board. That's very cool. There's looking. some beautiful output. I mean, it's compressed, but uh, you get the idea. Oh, and that's it. So thank you so much, Jesse, for sending those pictures, and he sent a video as well, which is uh, mm -hmm. great to look at. Um, so there's a new Atari 2600 programming book that was just released. Uh, and it was released by Oscar Toledo Gutierrez. Mm -hmm. Gutierrez. Of who we're playing two games tonight. Oh, cool, cool, cool. That are in the book that you type in. And you, and you use really? them to learn how to program oh. the 2600. And it's all done in assembly. Nice. Um, so it was recently published, uh, and the blurb says, created, created in 1977, the Atari 2600 keeps inciting our imagination. Now you can learn how to program this groundbreaking game console. This book <laughs> contains all the elements needed to learn the 6507 assembly language, how to control the graphic elements of the TIA, create music and sound, and a step-by-step -step guide to the creation of five amazing games. Game of Ball, Wall Breaker, Invaders, and the last two we're going to play tonight. The Lost Kingdom and Diamond Craze. Mm. So if you're interested in learning to program games for the 2600 in assembly, um, he says this book is good enough for a very basic beginner, right from almost nothing. Mm. I think he said you should know logic. Yeah. I think that's about I, it. Yeah. I think most like some, people have some very basic programming. Logic. Cool. But I think you could probably just look up some of the things you would need to, to get going. Cool. Yeah, type in games. Um, I don't think he uh, provides them anywhere except for the two games right now. Maybe mm. he'll release the other ones for like download the binaries. Um, but he, uh, well, not the binaries, the assembly code. Um, but they are in the book. And he offers a PDF. And I think you might get the PDF when you buy the book. I'm not sure. But the PDF, you'd be able to copy-paste. That's for sure. What's the thing about the ABBUC logo? Oh, that's still on top. Let's get rid of that. That's left over from the show before 
book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> accidental? Yeah. Yeah, it's because um, it's the show before Atari Age Day oh. at the ABBUC. Oh, it was still and it floating? Was, <laughs> and it was an animated one. It was actually a video. Oh. It's color cycling. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you for letting me know, PG. Yeah. <laughs> um... Let's see. Nice. And he says, I just released a new book, Programming Games for the Atari 2600, only 45 years after the Atari VCS release. I was born in 1978, and I broke a pair of Atari joysticks around 1983. <laughs> and I coded my first Atari game in 2013, Space Raid. Also, you mm -hmm. may heard of, have heard of Aardvark. Awesome game. Aardvark, yeah. Many, many awards won for that. How are you doing, Kat? Hi. And I wrote this book in 2022, available from Lulu. So I'll... Uh, it's uh, available in uh, hardback and um, paperback mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. uh, and PDF, so mm. pick your poison. Um, and um, I'm well, planning on making a game in the future. Yeah. Um, during okay. spring break after the awards. I, I love how that's how far off your, your Google calendar is right oh. now. Like, when you know do me. I next have time to program <laughs> yes. spring break? <laughs> yes, because uh, we're taking a two-week break. break in December, but that's going to that's prepare Christmas for the... And, and it's, it's for the holidays, but also for the awards. I love how he's like, it's for the awards. It's for the not awards. Not for Christmas. Not no, for visiting no, no. family. No, it's no, for it's the awards. No, it's for the awards. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's for both. Okay. It's for both. It's That's cat right. time. Equally. It's, Absolutely it's for, equally. It's for cat cuddles. It's cat time. cuddles yeah. in front of the fire. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get into the first game. Here you go. Uh, thank you. Oh, Nano Chess is here. Hey, Nano Chess. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, Nano Chess has been chatting. A game where you can play as James or Tanya. No, yeah. it won't be that complex yet. I'm going to make a very simple one first. Oh, my goodness. Which one? This one? Uh, yes, today's date, as per usual. Top, Top and, and Tom, Tom, too. I'm getting a cat, bin. cat kisses. Hi. Oh, cat. You're kisses. so cute. It's the bin. I yes. feel like I haven't clicked on that in a while. That's so funny. Oh, cat. So, cat. If you remember, we did play this game. Yes. Two people worked on the same port simultaneously. What? Really? Just like Tower of Rubble. <gasps> that is so funny. Independently, Great unbeknownst minds. to each other. They, wow. Thomas Yench and I don't have the other person's name handy, yeah. um, but they uh, both worked on the same game at the exact same time, mm. um, which is crazy. <laughs> so... The end result is we get two versions, which is which is awesome. So this was first posted November twelfth, and this build is from uh, today. Actually, he updated it today. It's Thomas Yench. Uh, it's a four K game. He also made Boulder Dash, that was just re released. Jammed, Rampong, Robot City, awesome game. Star Castle Arcade, hard game. Starfire, <laughs> Swoops, the Stacks, Three Three Dots, Top and Tom Two, Toy Shop Trouble, Vroom which was also just released, mm -hmm. and a ton of trackball hacks, which are awesome. Got nice. them up there. Yeah. Um, so you can download this in the Atari Age forum. Um, so uh, Thomas posted today about us playing the game. Please try out the automatic two-player option. Okay. I cannot really test it. I wonder if it doesn't just make the game too hard. Maybe it's just a gimmick, he says. But we'll first play it with one player. Okay. Um, because I will is, read out a is bunch it of set stuff. to the switches for one player right uh, BB uh, color yeah it's um, it's all good I think it you can just join in as a two a second person uh, that's why he said automatic oh. but we'll find out okay yeah oh the you oh also I want to mention the YouTube which is screwed up on the screen right now for some reason how do I is it, is it how do how up. do you do down and then you press down no oh yes because you have to spring it yeah oh my goodness because it's momentum right uh, I can see oh that things are being cut off. How would I do that? And that's probably because uh. of the settings in this. So oh, we're gonna wow. just oh fix issues? something. Issues? Yeah, issues. What is this? What 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 are you adjusting? Hmm. What are you adjusting? Uh, the frame meister. Oh, I'm Remember? like I've not seen this this menu before. <laughs> Because uh, you haven't used it in a while, so... A couple of years funny. now. Yeah, it's true. Ooh, standard, game, smart, under... And welcome to the Frame Meister live stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't want to cut it off. Yeah. No, you want it to look good. 
Hi, cat. Oh, so Ooh, that's happy. Not good. No, not letterbox. That's not going to work. Obviously. And it's problem when too? you have to replace your upscaler uh, an hour before the an show. hour before the show. Psst, 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 psst. What Smart are you doing times over there? Two? My cat looks like trouble. This may not even be the right area to be in. Is this not right though? It looks okay. No, you can't see the characters. Oh, from the side, you're right. Yeah, that's right. Sixty p. <laughs> um. It's not DVI. Image mode, we're just... Oh! Oh, I think this needs to go to Meister. Meister or game? Meister. No, oh, not cool. Meister. Uh, introduces some lines. Some lines. I kind of like it. I think it. it might be game. Because I think I may have forgotten everything. Well, it's still cutting it off. Are you sure? Screen set? No, that's where I was. It's not aspect ratio. That's where we need the test pattern on the screen for a little while. It's it's like a menu. Oh, there we go. Horizontal width? Maybe. Width. Is that? Ah. And broken. Uh, maybe. No, it didn't stretch it. What was I on? 32 before? Maybe it is cropped in OBS. No. No, because no, we're we seeing see it on the, the TV here. Yeah. The only... We play it on a TV and then it routes it, the video, right? To the to Yeah. Place. That's not it. Yeah, you're seeing exactly what we're seeing on here. So, and this is straight output from the. Hmm. That's one of the problems with the Frame Master that I don't miss is the slow, slow sync up again. I don't think it's scalar because that just. That, it shifts the whole thing. Reminds me of having to tweak settings on projectors. Oh god, projectors are the worst. A zoom set. And they get they get depending on like the zoom in on Ooh, the lens, it gets all kind of weird looking too. We may have to deal with it, but I don't re oh you can't set that. Zoom width. Oh. Uh, Is that it? No. No, you can't set it. It's all grayed out. Oh no. Hey black cat. Come here. Anybody know where it is? <laughs> <laughs> Not sync. <laughs> There's a lot of options in there. There is. Oh um, my I mean, we can play it with that. It's just cut off on the on the left, left right? Left, yeah. Funny. Never yeah. used Frame Meister, so I'm not sure. Well, Obviously. I can play, and you can look it up on your phone if you. That's true. <laughs> and then we'll adjust it if you can figure out why it's it's I just cropping don't like, the uh, left. I know you don't want to. Sh you're missing part of it. Misrepresent the game. Yeah. Perhaps try oh, each God. pause. Oh my. Each position, maybe, maybe it shifted over. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's no, possible. No, it won't let me. Hmm. Maybe no. Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up. It's okay. As long as it, it's serviceable right now, but and I'm gonna just die yeah. multiple times. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you how to play, because this is a little different than the other one. Well, I'm getting the hang of to it, but I'm not use, very fast. No, there's some other options. Oh, use a joystick in the left port. To move okay. top, up, and down, Tom cannot be controlled directly, but you can make it avoid obstacles anyway. Use the joystick up to make top jump up and bring Tom faster down the road yeah. uh, than it would be by itself. Use the joystick down to bring top back faster to the road, mm. which then allows Tom to jump. Yeah. Tom's jump height depends on top's previous jump height. Mm -hmm. A second player can take out control over... Uh, one direction, up or down, by using a joystick in the right port. So I think independently, I can make one the goes other up, one, one goes jump. down. Let me quickly try that. Okay. Not. Okay, don't move, because then we'll know. Can you press it? You got up. I'm not doing anything. You're not. Well, don't don't press anything. I can hear you pressing things. No, I tried and I didn't, and nothing happened. Okay. So I can only move the top one. Okay. So try and do something, maybe press down. Well, okay. 
I so can kind I can of, but guy. I need your momentum to bounce down. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, switches. Press the select to check and change the current game variation. There are three starting difficulties increasing with time, which each can be played on the three non-random and one on random tracks. On top of this, you can combine each variation with power-ups and shield options. The current variation and its options are displayed at the bottom of the screen while you are selecting them. To start a game, press reset at any time or press the fire button when a game is over. Playing the game. During the game, Top and Tom will face numerous blocks in multiple combinations. If they hit these blocks, you will lose energy. So you can see the energy on the bottom of the screen with the oh, blue so bar. Um, do you have to turn zoom on to access the zoom features? Possibly. I feel like I can't move fast enough. Hmm. It's crazy. I think I, I might have to... Oh. Uh, the game is played in stages, each lasting around 60 seconds. Oh, power-ups. If you have this option enabled, left difficulty A, which we don't yet, you can collect power-ups, which randomly appear at the top or bottom of the screen, but you will get no energy at the end of the stage. No extra energy. Shield. Oh, gosh. Shield option allows you to pass an obstacle without losing energy from it. But while the shield is enabled, it will require a little energy too. And if you hit an obstacle without the shield enabled, you will lose twice as much energy without the, with this option. So that sounds like a very advanced. When you, uh, while you select a variation, the display will alternate between the current variation, high score, and high score stage display. Oh, After the game cute. is over, the display will alternate between score, stage, high score, and high score stage. High scores will be displayed in red. If you have a save key or Atari box, the high score of all 48 variations will be saved permanently. Wow. It also be overwritten when you finish a game variation. So there's 48 variations in this game, and each have their own high score. Oh, getting better. Ow. No, it's really hard. <laughs> I just like cramped up my leg there for a second there. I wonder why he said that. What are the variations? Um, harder things. Like harder than this? Because yes. this is really this is hard. This easy version. Is it really? This is on easy? Yes. It sure throws things at you immediately, doesn't it? What? What? How did those disappear? Yeah, uh, they disappear. They just disappear. Oh. You have to remember where they are. What? They're not gone. Oh, you they're run into still them. there? Yeah. They're, they're invisible? Are you sure this is on the easy? Well, they're both on B. Maybe the... Things are switched wrong. One, two, three, question mark, two, three. Oh, there we go. What? It was in some sort of random state. Some sort of weirdness. And you were just, like squished to the left. Oh, there's a weird bug. Yeah, this is much easier. <laughs> Ugh, not doing that well, but. So it was not the zoom, it was the game. <laughs> Doing very weird things. Since this is the programming forum he posted, some info about the coding and logic, which both become quite complex. The game creates obstacles randomly on the fly. Terrible. Now you have more health too. You get a little bit of points, you get more points if you do that. It's, it's, it, I'm not doing that well, but I'm not dying. Like last time I was dying, I'm not dying this time. It's like my health doesn't go down that fast. Being too slow each time. I know, very slow. Uh, the game create obstacles. Uh, there, there it considers the height slash bit pattern of the planned new obstacle, and depending on the required jumping direction, top top to top, top to bottom, bottom to top, bottom to bottom. And the current difficulty calculates a minimum distance to the previous most right obstacle. That minimum is met, it randomly starts creating a new obstacle. <laughs> it looks like a Knuckles Chaotix demake. Oh, I haven't seen that game. Obstacles are also randomly extended on the fly while entering the screen, either by increasing their width or adding copies. The width is limited by the obstacle's height bit pattern on which the side, or which side, top or bottom it is. Else some obstacles will be impossible to pass. Oh, 
It's it's getting the bottom one sometimes when it's really high. Mmm. Oof, just made it. Oh. Hit your head. Uh, the kernel can display two obstacles at a time per side. One obstacle is using player one, so it can be made very wide or repeated, and the other one is using missile zero. Note it cannot use missile one because that would be repeated two when repeating player one. And that's the reason why the car, which is player zero, has the same color as the obstacle. One of the usual Atari 2600 compromises. Psst, psst, psst. Nope, nope, birthday cat. It's not your birthday anymore. Can't do that. Uh, while a missile-based obstacle is invisible, the code checks if the currently displayed player obstacle cannot be extended anymore, more than 64 pixels onto the screen, and could therefore be displayed by the missile. No repeats. To oh, this is very technical. Very, very technical. I would suggest you read more about this in the, uh, the forum. Knuckles Chaos is a 32x game. I'm not a fan of it due to the rubber band physics of the player character. Ah. Maybe the two-player option now does something different. Maybe. So after you're this game... Rubber we'll... band physics. Yeah. Rubber band physics. It's kind of like... It's, it's pretty much gravity. Except you get to see the gravity. You get to see like a rubber band. Oh, getting that last one. You have to actually wind up for it. The really to tall anticipate. ones, and you really, yeah, it's really hard to anticipate the big ones on the lower end. Mm. I mean. It's much easier on the top. Ugh, I can't do it fast. I'm really bad with that. No, oh, didn't go down. <laughs> Slipped. No. I no. just screwed it up. <laughs> so, 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 so. Level oh, you made two, it? Level, level three. three. This is definitely the easy level. <laughs> like this starting level. That, oh, yeah. that last one was, that was impossible. I was like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> you have to like pull yourself back down to get through that lower blue one, like this one, so you don't hit your head, because you seem or, to hit your head every time. Well, you can... I, I'm not very good at... Um, or do you just tap it? No, you can, you can slow your descent by holding it up, but it's, oh. it's hard to do. It's hard oh, to do, so I think... It's just I'm not very good at it, that's all. Ugh. Honk, 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 yeah, it's like a goose. Oh, you're almost dead, but it's almost over. Level. Be nice if it had a, a oh, time. Come on. Oh, one more hit and you're dead. Oh, uh, that was good though. 7366. Yeah, you'll get a lot further. So I'll play on this normal mode. Yeah. First. It's fun though. It just takes some getting used to, really. Yeah. The physics of it, you need to play it a couple of times to get used to the bouncing. Portal like colors, yes. Orange and blue. Complimentary. Oh. Yeah. Oof, hitting all over the place. I wonder if it'd be easier to control with two paddle buttons. One for up and one for down, maybe. It's all you need is an up and a down. It's basically you're up and down and you hold. But, um... So you can hold it. Like, if you jump up... You can actually go pretty far when you hold it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that takes a bit of mastering. You can go under that. <laughs> yeah. Under. You do get points for going under it. Not many. Current plus cart high score is 35,000k. <laughs> Whoa! That's pretty good. Someone Whoa, plays uneasy. this game a lot. On the first level, I, I guess? I would assume. Starting from the first level, I'm sure. You don't get any more health, do you? Like, mm -mm. Oh, yeah, you do. Mm. It, bumped, it bumped up a bit. Okay. It does increase a little. Yeah, 
Uh, somebody's been playing this game. Maybe it was Thomas. <laughs> Does it have a name associated with it? Is there an S Ramirez? Is it an S Ramirez? Cool. Yeah, does it start with an S? <laughs> and end with a Ramirez? Yeah. <laughs> see if I can get my health back up to full. It's an emulator score. Cheater. Still can guess the mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Go for 2,600. Mm. Go for? Go what? for 2,600. Oh, mm. Not familiar with that person. I mean, you got 7,000. the person 7, who made Gopher? Oh. Maybe. It may be, yes. <laughs> no, like there's a, a Gopher emulator. Ooh. Did all my stored up? Or am I just thinking of whack a mole? Maybe. Whack a mole. <laughs> Charles Dillon said it doesn't count then if it's emulator. <laughs> well. Well, yeah. And then I mean, there's just, a possibility he said of just cheating. Um, it's definitely Yeah, it is really neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's a really very good. good implementation of this game. Definitely takes some getting used to the the physics. Oh yeah, and thinking just thinking in a different way. Well, knowing you have to wind up your momentum kind of to get the thing up and mm -hmm. down, right? It's like not you... just a jump; it's no. a jump and then another jump. God. Oh my God! It happens. It happens. I'm gonna grab a drink while you're doing this because I think you're gonna get pretty far. Okay. Refresh my drink. Do you want some water? I've got water. Okay. Thank you. Level four. 10,000. Oh, you get a bonus, I think, at the end of each level. Damn it. Just skinned it. wonder if it's an absolute hit. Where, um... Oh, my God. <gasps> Talking and not playing. Oh, no! Oh, shouldn't have gone for that jump. See, that's why you can get, oh, god damn it. You can get the big scores if you keep jumping over, over uh, the big ones. I don't know if you get different scores for different heights or different, oh, I keep forgetting. Damn it. Making terrible mistakes. Just cleared that one. Oh, I did, hardly got any health back on that one. Oh my god. Not doing well on this one. going ooh ooh 35k eh hmm. <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a possibility but i don't know how much of a possibility <laughs> like i'm not going for every jump no <sighs> see i wasted that one i was like oh i'll get the points uh this is a fun game <laughs> this is super fun. James is liking the game. Yeah. Leandro? Leandro. No. Who, no. who made this one? Thomas Yench. Thomas Yench. Oh, okay. There you go. He likes the physics-based games. He he is thrust. Oh. Is is he not? He is thrust. Yeah. Well, it's in his it's in his handle, so. Oh. Hi. Yeah, close the door. <laughs> Born in a barn? It's like, yeah, yeah, it was. It has been very chilly here. You can all let me know where you are and how cold slash hot it is. In, but in uh, Celsius. 
In Celsius, yes. No Fahrenheit. No, just kidding. We don't understand. Uh, <laughs> Unless it's zero. Uh, yeah, it's been around zero Celsius. So freezing. freezing. Freezing temperature of water around here. Uh, lots of frost on the ground, and it was super, super um, misty and uh, foggy. Oh, very today. Foggy. Like I, I, I uh, drove over the um, bridge go going into work, oh. and you could not see like two cars in front of you. So, New Hampshire snowing. Oh, New Hampshire. Nice. Slow. Cold in Illinois. That doesn't surprise me. Eating away at my. Uh... Yeah. Your health? My health. Yeah. But you're like doing pretty good. Uh, yeah. Snowed in Maine, boo. Aw. Oh, I like Maine, too. I, uh... When I was a kid... Oh, my God. Rendered ghost. My parents, because uh, growing up in Ontario, we used to go down to Algonquit, Maine every summer, which was our, our place that we used to go on vacations. Maybe not every summer, but every, every couple of years we'd head down there, so... Czech Republic, six degrees, but it's 4 a.m., yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's also, pretty good, actually. That's warmer than here. And... <sighs> I actually have been to the Czech Republic oh. with my grandmother. She took me on a trip when I was young. Is it called the Czech Republic? It was Czechoslovakia <laughs> back then. Yeah. I needed a visa. It was a terrible photo. That's all I remember. <laughs> I was about 12. I went to... Um, Prague, and then we toured around. Uh, we went to Bratislava and into the mountains as well. So damn it, I'm gonna die. It was it was a very interesting trip. Let's see here. Uh, got down around 20 last night when we watched the moon moonshot. Beer Pocock. centigrade. Gotcha. I guess from the mid 20s to under zero Celsius. I love how everyone's uh, translating their temperatures. <laughs> Vitoko, 32C. Okay, that's hot. <laughs> so, 27,000 for my first game. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, so let's check out some of the options. Mm. 27, good job. Thank you. Yeah. So power-ups. Left difficulty A. So we'll just check out the power-ups. I'm, I'm drinking and what with one hand and trying to play this game technically technically that's possible yeah technically technically so it says <laughs> uh will randomly appear at the top or bottom of the screen oh gosh i guess you have to jump up to get them maybe oh god i, I hit it constantly i'm just my timing is so bad oh, i am doing so terrible here I think I could beat that 35,000. <laughs> yeah? If that was my first game, yeah. Oh, I jumped too high. Yeah, you just tap it, tap it. I know, but I, I feel like I'm not going to be able to s sustain it over the gap. Oh, it's a short gap. Those I, ones are tiny. Well, no, not these ones. Now you're now you're distracting me. Uh -huh. uh, the, the long one. Oh. I don't see any power-ups. Where's the power-ups? Kittens. Hi. Mwah. You distract me, but I, I, you, it's okay. Thank you, Atari 800 XL yeah. rules. Moon rocket launched early this morning. Cool. After dark with plus card. Uh, not okay. today, but that would be a good one. Actually, that would be a good show is doing a bunch of plus card activated games. I don't see any power ups. Are they really, really seldom? Hmm. You have to jump over it. Oh. Terrible. Hmm. I feel like that's within reach to do okay on this yeah. game, though. Well, I don't see any power-ups, so we'll just... What? Oh, lightning bolt. What is that? Oh, it's showing it now. Do you what? have to reset it? Maybe? Three, level three, one? See that? Yeah. Now oh. it's... Okay, so we're going to do level... One, what? What does that mean? One, two, three, question mark? Is it random? There's... This is super hard. <laughs> what is going on here? It's supposed to be hard. I'm setting hard levels. Because uh... he wants me to die so we can take over. 
I know his game. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the how the le what the levels mean. Because there's like one, two, and three. Switches, playing the game, power up, high score. Oh, there's the power up. I oh. saw power up. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, I just want to get the power up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's my switch because um, you can see it. There. It was flickering. That's the. That's it, right? It needs to be cleaned or something. Why is it three three? Why are you making it so hard? <laughs> I wonder what the Give question it there. mark is. Wait. Question mark. Yes. Maybe it's random starting point for the level. Do you think? Could Do you think it follows be. the same? Like there's like one two three. So this is definitely not easy. There's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then a, oh, there's a bomb. Oh, yeah, I, I'm you not couldn't gonna. have got that one. Well, no, I couldn't have. No, you couldn't, because it was on the opposite side of the jump. Well, I could have, but I mean. Ugh. I'm trying to figure out the difficulties. <sighs> So, uh, some history in this game. Since I'm always lacking ideas, I was browsing the web when I found Top and Tom by CXS, CXSXF. Wow, that's hard to say. Ugh. I really liked the unique twist in the gameplay and the nice physics, and it looked very doable for the 2600. This was in late 2021, and I started working on it till I got a nice kernel and was able to play the game. Then real life and other projects interfered, so the development stuck and uh, was stuck until the summer vacation. I was making good progress when Arlisoft, who I thought was CHSXF, released his 2600 version of the same idea. This came a bit like a shock. What do I do now? I thought that it was his original idea. I contacted Arlisoft, who turned out it was a very nice person who liked my version, doesn't mind at all about me releasing it. Nevertheless, I, I decided to wait some weeks before I got public to give him some time to finish his version. Since that did not happen, I finally decided to announce and release my work in progress during Atari Age Day. Remember he was talking about this? Yeah! After going public, Arlisoft came here and corrected my mistake, because he thought it was a different person. Um, oh, I get it. So the bomb gets rid of everything. On the screen? On the screen for the color the bomb's in. For how long? Just on the uh, screen? No. Oh, I wanted to see it. You missed it. I've hit two. Oh, I was reading. Yep. Um, change the current game variation. There are three starting difficulties increasing with time. Each, each can be played on three non-random and one random tracks. On top of this... I hmm. didn't get any, any health back on this one. Get it! No, oh, it was health! I bet. You think? Yeah. That's cool that it's on its own line at the very, very top. Oh, it's a different one. A plus. I got that before, but I don't know what it did. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that did. I have no health. It might have been score. Yeah, I have no health left, so... Hmm. Hmm. Cool. You give it a try. That's pretty fun. This level? Yeah, with the with the. Well, let's put on the shield now. Shields? But do you get power ups? No. Yep. Still power ups. Okay. You good. can combine. I like the power ups. I, yes. I like that a lot. Excellent. Artemis one moon rocket launched early this morning. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, but that was no good because I ran into the orange one. Getting the blue bomb. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Silly man. Let's see. Get it! Ah. So my... Ah. Our car... Yes. Oh no, what the happened? The battery. No, no, the car's fine. <laughs> uh, but because it's getting cold, the. Um, battery doesn't last as long. No. And That's it's just cutting short of my round trip to work, which yeah. sucks. That's happened um, last year, too. Uh, we have a Volt, so there is a, there is a backup, like, hybrid engine. engine? Ice engine. Sorry? Internal combustion engine. Well, yeah, it's I guess an it's engine. Redundant. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's called ice. a gas engine, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a hybrid engine, but uh, it will kick in if the electricity drops because it's a small battery. But it just kind of sucks because in the summer, not a problem, but in the winter with the colder temperatures, it really does affect the range. So. Yeah. Unfortunate. Didn't ah, I didn't make it home it. today. 
Yeah, was short by about I, I was short about by about I don't know a couple of kilometers. Yes, the battery gives you more life on the bottom. Yeah. The That's plus good. is probably score. Not sure on that one yet, because the score is constantly going up. Oh. Oof. So hard. Yeah. This is such a good implementation of the game. I don't know if there was any of those power-ups in the original game. I think he's extended it to have those. Also, our gas price is now down to 184 cents a liter, so. Oh my goodness. Fill I it know. up. <laughs> Quick. Oh, it's so expensive. <laughs> oh, what is Even that? Even when it's cheap. Oh, oh, missed it. Oh, go backwards, maybe? That would have been cool. Maybe. Oh, it's like you get distracted by them. Yeah, some of them you don't want to get. Cause... No, that one. Well, it gave me more that, energy, at least... which I just got rid of because I hit a whole bunch of stuff. Wow. Anyway. Okay, I gotta stop playing. No, keep playing. <laughs> no. Keep playing. We have three more games. Yeah, to get but to. finish this. Finish this game. You're not gonna. Oh, it's not okay. gonna last forever. This looks fun and challenging. It is. It's really it challenging. It is really good. Um, I mean, you can set it to a level where you can be challenged. Yes. Yes. And I wasted it. Because uh, there's <laughs> really hard levels in this. Nothing wrong with a four-hour show. It's not a 12-hour show. Well, so. I do have some work that I need to yeah. <laughs> do in between this and show. We're, and we're playing, doing an After Dark, aren't we? I need to do some work in between this show and the After Dark. Really? It's oh. very quick. Oh, my goodness. But I can't just randomly do it at a specific time. Because, okay, fair um, enough. So. Time constraints? Yes. Okay. Huh? Okay, I gotta get this. Oh, that's what it does. It moved you back a little? Yes, so you get more time to see things on the screen. Oh, that's kind of cool. Thomas, brilliant. Yeah, excellent. This is so good. It's so one good. of those games where, just like Robot City, where it's it seems simple, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of complexities to it. Yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> been hitting too many things trying to get the power-ups. That's okay. It's, but it, the power-ups are fun. They are. Thomas wanted to be here. Unfortunately, he is in a time is zone that doesn't work. Oh, okay. With yeah. it, but uh, when he does the final version of this game, oh, uh, uh, there we'll, we go. we'll play it again and we'll make sure that it's on yeah. a um, a Friday early. If you haven't played this already, this is incredible. Download it immediately. It's really, really, really good. Um, Top and Tom Two by Thomas Yench. Uh, it's in the forums. Mm. Version 9.1. So let's go to the next game, which is. Boom. Diamond Craze. And it is by Oscar Toledo Guitarras, nice. aka Nano Chess. It is a game you type in, so there's not all the niceties of uh, couch compliance, unfortunately. <laughs> That's okay. So I will reset it. So get the diamonds, avoid the bad guys. Go for it. Move your... no? Oh, maybe the... Oh, okay. It's game select, not reset. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah! So after years of searching, you have found a cave containing the biggest... Oh. <laughs> they move really fast. Oh my goodness. Turn around. Go the other way. It's not easy to turn around. You have to reset. Um... You have found a cave, a cave containing the biggest and most perfect diamonds. You only need to take them for selling. Unfortunately, these are, these are guarded by monsters that won't stop catching you. Uh, the other one. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. Okay, let me do it. No, it's okay. Don't reset it for no reason. I was playing. Well, you died immediately. No, I didn't. Oh. You canceled my game. 
I thought you reset and died immediately. No! I, you die very, very quickly. Advanced difficulty is very fast. You can select beginner. Yeah! Oh. I was gonna say this is awfully uh, fast. How do you do it? Oh. We're on B already. Hmm. Just the reverse. Are they reversed? Maybe my thing is acting up again. There you okay. go. There we go. That's... I need some cleaning, obviously. I'll have to put in my to-do list, which is a mile long. Um, unfortunately, these are guarded by monsters that won't stop catching you. The danger is there, but your greed is greater. New casual game for a rainy afternoon. It has two difficulties. Difficulty B, monsters are slow. Difficulty A, monsters run as fast as you. Reset to stop the game. Select to start the game. Interesting. You have four men for your diamond heist. Find the attached ROM for the game and the commented co source code. It can be assembled with DASM and, or DASM, and requires VCS 8.h for the DASM package. I wrote this game as an example for my two for my new book, Programming Games for Atari 2600. And you can get the book if you want to see a more detailed explanation of how it works. Enjoy it! So we've got Nano Chess in the chat, the author of the new book. And uh, I thought there was uh, more guys. There were. I think they uh, ate each other. Oh, <laughs> they, like, they're like mimicking each other? Ended up on top of each Ooh. other, and uh, now they're not separating. Oh, interesting. I guess their logic is so intertwined with each other. Possibly. That they're... Or maybe there's two different logics, oh, two different types of logic for the monsters, mm. and the ones that are matching went on top of each other. Can you confirm that, Nano Chess? Because mm -hmm. I'm guessing because it's a typed-in game, it's not as big as... Um, 13 you got. Oh, this starts with three monsters. I thought there okay. were four. Maybe in the Maybe. advanced? That's right, monsters can blend together in crosses on the maze. Oh, okay, so if two monsters coincide with each other and they have the same logic, they're going to take the same exact route. Oh, if there's funny. no randomness to it, right? If it's purely based on their position and your position, uh, it's going to uh, end up being exactly the same each time. Squished. So uh, he's included his biography in his uh, listing on his book page. Oscar Toledo Guitares, Mexico, 1978, is a game developer and design consultant who gives talks at universities about programming topics and the influences influence of software in society. He started programming at the age of five in BASIC and learned Z80 assembly language by the age of nine. Author of Boot OS, x86 operating system in 512 bytes, creator of Inti Basic, a language for fast game development on the on the Intellivision, developer of the world's smallest ch chess programs in Nano C. Nano chess. Yes, <laughs> he literally is the creator of the world's smallest chess program. Nice. In C, Java, like JavaScript, that. x86, and 6502 machine code. Five times winner of the international obfuscated C code contest. Second place in the JS1 contest. Second place in the MSX Dev 10 contest. He has programmed games for the Atari 2600, ColecoVision, Intellivision, MSX, Sega Master System, and the TI 994A. His games include Princess Quest and Mecha 8 are included on the ColecoVision flashback, while Space Raid is on the Atari flashback 9 Gold. Very impressive. And he says, yes, there's no randomness on choosing directions. So... That makes sense when they uh, cross paths. It's like game over for them. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, merge together. So if you're really, really good at this game, you will make the merge together. Oh, they slightly changed because they're slightly apart, and you must have taken a turn at the time when they were not, when they had a chance to uh, make a decision. And since they all move at the exact same speed. It's quite a challenge, probably, to get them synced up. That probably doesn't happen too often. I oh. struggle with this controller a lot. Like, I was noticing this when we were playing um, the Qbert um, port. Well, that's that's an exception, because it... No, it, I, I... I think it was set to is, 45 it, degree angles. Tell me when you play with this controller, if you're finding it loose. Like, really loose and... My turn. Okay. 
You want to reset for me? Now, this is a typed-in game, so mm. there may not be some nice uh, optimizations for... Like, like, yeah. That for changing while you're moving. Yeah. Yeah, I can... You you know what I'm talking oh. about. Yeah. 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 It's it's the game. Oh, okay. And there, there's things you can do. I can't see that. Uh, well, you anyway. just have to anticipate your turns. Yes. Now, it, probably if there was... Um, more room to program it in, you would take into account pressing up and left at the mm -hmm. same time, and it would, rec like, I press up and, like, watch this, I'll press up and to the, up and to the left, and mm -hmm. it won't go up. Yeah. But if I press, um, let's see if I can find a long stretch here, up and to the right, it will go up and to the right, and it'll go right. Yeah. So it's all about um, direction checking in the program itself mm. and whether it checks one direction over another. Ooh, two in a row. Yeah, you get those. So it's it's all due to the programming and the way it checks mm. the joystick. Ooh, nice. Two on top of each other again. Very good. Yes, there's oh, no again. randomness on choosing directions. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just guessing all these things based on my limited knowledge of programming. Which I've done a little bit here and there, back in the day. Programmed a bunch in... You need like, to make an Atari game, though, even a I, simple I'm going one. to, yeah. I still want to make my Miss Congeniality um, oh God. Drive, drive, driving controller game. Which, <laughs> what is that? Uh, Never this said is my concept. About that. No, this is my concept for a game. Okay. Uh, so if you've ever seen the movie Miss Congeniality, I haven't. her talent yeah. is um, making music off um, rubbing wine glasses. Like, <laughs> right? right? She does this. Playing wine glasses. Yeah. Playing wine glasses. Which can sound very, very nice. Well, and I thought it would be really cool to have like a Simon game. Where maybe you, you have oh, four, dear. and you click the button between them, and then you you turn the driving controller to make a noise. See, that's perfect application for the driving controller. And I was saying the other day, yeah. there's not enough driving controllers. No one games. steal that idea. I of course I don't know how to program an assembly, so I'll have to get Nano Chess's book. <laughs> that's right. And figure out how to make that game because in concept it would be Mr. simple. Easy. In concept? Yes. <laughs> the air book off, take, takes notes. <laughs> <laughs> In concept, that would be... Can you reset it? It's too fast. Sure. Please. Oh, it is fast. Oh, sorry. To what? AA? No, no. Just reset. Start the game over. Okay. Because I have to have uh, a head start. Yeah, you have to have a head start. They are fast. Uh, <laughs> it could work. Um, I don't know how to program or, ah. or deal with the driving controller, but you just... And then you would have this sound, and it, it could be very simple. Oh, yeah. So and then you just need a, an animation for when you're doing the driving controller. It, you would want some sort of animation so it would almost like reverberate and make a noise. And it would just be a Simon game. Um, you, you'd have four and you'd have to click between them. It I'm wouldn't not be a timed. Huge fan of Simon games. No, but it would be I'm a sure. fun one to program. That's all. Like, As a program exercise? I like but Simon if, games. If there'd be a, another. I know you do. Um, I'm not bad at them. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I can't memorize past like six. Maybe. I have weird, weird memory recall. I can't remember why I came downstairs <laughs> all the time. But you can remember up to 19 things on the screen. <laughs> We're, we'll play a Simon like matching game and, 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 and I can go forever. And I don't know. I don't know why that is. It's, um, it's funny. Really good game for an exercise for typing out of a book. I'm, I'm really surprised that this it's a great complex game. of a game yeah. he would include in the book. Yeah. So this would uh, tell you how to pl make a play field. Mm -hmm. It would tell you how to flicker enemies to get more than two characters on the screen at the same time. It doesn't have uh, intelligent flickering, uh, flicker, flicker management, but that's fine because that's a whole other level. Um, it's It's got um, a mirrored play field. It's also got the diamond as well it's uh yeah it's a really really good game for an exercise for mm -hmm. typing an exercise so we're going to go to the next one uh which is the lost kingdom also by oscar nano chess let me change the graphics 
go for it. Uh, this is posted November 15th, yesterday. He says, Hi all, your kingdom is in great despair oh, since the king disappeared. Beautiful castle. The legend says the crown is hidden somewhere in this world, and maybe if you can find it, you can become the king. Ooh, I want to be become the queen. Oh, become the queen then. <laughs> Object of the game is simple. Explore the world, find the crown, become the king or queen. There are no enemies in this game. Okay. Move the peasant with the joystick directions. <gasps> to take objects, you simply pass over them. Uh, you can drop objects by pressing the joystick button. You cannot go to certain places if you don't have the right object. Gosh, that makes sense. Nope, um, can't go that way. Find attached the complete source code for the game, fully commented, and if you'd like more detailed explanation about how it works, you can get my new book, Programming Games for the Atari 2600. <laughs> so he messaged me saying, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna post this other game. He actually sent it to me as well, ah, this one. Ah, okay. Because he saw we were playing... Can't do that, um, He saw we were playing the last game. Uh, diamond craze. Nice, nice, nice. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. And I, la I ed put it in at the last second. So do I search things or no. I, I will just come You'll across see them? It. Okay. Ooh, what is that? that looks key ish. Key -ish. Mm, James is a programmer disguised as a Twitch streamer. I know enough to be dangerous as a programmer. It looks like, mm -hmm. like a river or. Yeah. Oh, oh, can't go up, can't go up, can't. Yeah, I'm going to be programming in assembly. Um, I did actually start a game. But, you did, yeah. But I Wait, was didn't... this where it was? Yeah, it was in the tree. The key oh. was just in the tree. Is there nothing there? Oakley doakley. Um, but I didn't get it finished. Um, can you remember? Oh yeah, I was, I was making a game that was way too complex for my first assembly game. And I shouldn't have started that one. But I thought I was going to make it like step by step. And um, do a bit at a time, and like, oh, well, oh my God! Ooh, now you got, got it to a new there. place. It looks like a Graveyard? cemetery. Not sure what that is. Oh, a cross. It's a cross, so I probably have to kill a demon. Oh, There's oh no, 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 I couldn't get down here. I couldn't. Oh, nah, I can get in there now. There you Ooh, go. Look at this. Ooh, I like the pink now and blue. Now I played this. Okay. Game. <gasps> do, 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 now I'm just gonna let you know do. that this is all one single screen That's like cool. there's not four of them you're kind of wrapping around yep actually it is two screens it's very confusing it confused the hell no, out of me no it's one screen it does feel like you're wrapping around though yeah oh, oh i just left. have to go back out oh, oh okay so it's kind of two screens no does it keep going can i keep going uh to the right? maybe maybe but but no. No, it's a, no, it doesn't Both ways. No, it keeps I think going. it just keeps going that way. Okay, let's get, get her out. The game is made to be reusable and modifiably easy. Oh, okay. And I guess people can expand on this game, add more objects, more screens mm -hmm. as well. If they wanted to. house didn't even try nope nope no house there <laughs> anything here you technically nope. can fit up in that doorway i did it's very very hard oh <gasps> you did it oh <gasps> i got a crown you got the crown oh ho, ho, ho. one could add ducks <laughs> could <laughs> could add ducks uh ducks that are Da, da, da. There's your got throne. my crown. I got my crown. You are the queen. I am the queen of the Lost Kingdom. Woo! So, re another excellent <laughs> um, exercise in programming. It has multiple screens that link to each other. I love it. There's object um, carrying an object mm. from screen to screen. There's the logic of if you bring this object to this screen, something changes, and it changes where you can go and where you can't go based on what you have or what you've done. Um, really good uh, programming exercises, especially in assembly. There, I didn't, when I first saw that he posted the book, and he's like, oh, there's five games you can type in, mm -hmm. I didn't think they would be as complex as this. I thought they'd be like single screen, 
you and another object and you're shooting it or something or something really simple or you go around the screen and collect things on the screen and mm -hmm. how many you can get in a certain amount of time but these are quite uh, quite decent so looking forward to seeing his other games i don't know if uh nano chess is going to post them um in the forums mm -hmm. or leave them for the book only ill-tempered ducks and cyrano says these are great examples to learn from yeah, yeah they these, are yeah. they teach the very basics of programming yeah there's probably everything in here you need to know the to make movement. many many other types of games yeah. and to uh very leapfrog nice. you to get to understand other programming mm -hmm. people programming a more advanced games these are for both single bank 4k games mm -hmm. so it keeps them very simple great very great cool. job nano chess um, hopefully a lot of people will pick up your book and we'll have another round of great programmers making awesome games. Good stuff. So on to our uh, very last. Oh, and the uh, final results are in. 50%, 1991 to 95. That's when people first started using the internet. Half the people. 91 to 95, eh? Yep. And yep. then 33. Wow, for that's a lot. 90. That's way more than I thought. I, that was more than I thought. I thought there would be more in the 95 plus category. But you know what? Uh, again, knowing the crowd, that's not really that surprising. And then 11%, 95 to 2000. And yeah. somebody or two people snuck into the 2001 onward Yeah. with 5.6%. 5.6 and then nobody in 2000 I, I do feel if if you attended a college or a university early that yeah. you know when <sighs> you get an email address for Ever, they give out email addresses really you know there are a lot of exceptions to people who are in in their teenage years who have access to computers but a lot of people don't and so it's when you're at university and then you're forced to go to those computer labs in the 90s and that kind of thing that's f for a lot of people for me yeah, yes. it would have been the later 90s instead of the earlier 90s. And I mean, but, I took computer yeah. science when I went to university. Yeah, so that... that. So they would be like, here, we yeah. have internet. Yeah. Here's how yeah. to get on the internet. Yeah. Here's your email address. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I got a degree in biology and... They probably to had some day. things you needed to use the computer for. Well, we for. had Pine, we had email, we Pine, had yes. Pine email, That's and, what I and used, yes. um, Pine was pretty good actually. Actually, Pine was excellent, and good we we email, like, we were beginning program. when I started to really use it for some course content too, which now all the course contents digital and online and all yes. that but back then like that was that be. was a rare thing right you went yes. and you wrote hand wrote notes not not everybody um, had a computer at home like no, it just wasn't a thing what i remember is i had to do a lot of research in our biology library and there were no computer resources you would have there were some databases and you would search them but you still had to go and source all the articles that you're doing your that you would need for your research by hand so you spent all your time photocopying. You would get these bound tomes of journals and you'd be photocopying all, all like so much of your time was photocopying. Whereas now everything, everything is PDF'd online and you can search yeah. it on Google. But I remember back in, back in the old days, just spending so much time in the library photocopying articles. Ugh. So Terrible. much of my time was doing that. Anyway, keep moving. I digress. Um, I digress. <laughs> yeah. So the next game is Krypton. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if we got a little bit of a time. No, no, today. no. I'm just, I'm, I'm reminiscing. Uh, Krypton by uh, Darth Tom, Thomas Fenner. This was first posted September 18th, 2022. This build is November 7th. This mm. is uh, an exclusive build for the show. Um, he'll probably post it after we uh, premiere it. It's 4K game. Uh, he says, find attached my new game, done completely in assembler. Now can I, I can leave the old Batari basic behind. <laughs> it's a space shooter. Krypton, Superman's home world, is Ooh. under attack. And you can hear the uh, theme song. Nice. John Williams wants a quarter every time this is played. <laughs> yes. That's right. Uh, it's a space shooter. Krypton is under attack. You have to fight all the enemy intruders and save the planet. Between each stage, you have to collect three super Superman shields, but be careful of hitting by the flying square things. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Didn't even give them a name. Just flying square things. I managed to do a title screen with music. The music routine was hacked out of an ET game. Music was composed by myself. I tried to catch the style and design of Superman movie Man of Steel. Planet surface of Krypton was designed after the original movie from 1978. So, uh, go for it. No one can see the game. Oh, well, you can hear it. 
<laughs> isn't that enough? Yeah. It's this is all enough. you're seeing right now. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Can uh, we see the game? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you cannot. Um, the font for Krypton, I really like that. Really font. nice. Yeah. With the line, it's very, very 80s. Yeah. Love it. The best is Superman. I should have asked you what the controls were. Uh, shoot. Press a button. Oh, there you go. Shoot the shoot the ships. Uh, uh, so he emailed me. Avoid those. Okay. Good. <laughs> avoid good those to blocks. know. I mean, it's either shoot or avoid. Usually. <laughs> That's right. Shoot, avoid, or or collect. In the next level, you collect. Oh my this god. One you avoid. Not doing very well. Um, so he emailed me. So he says, now it's ready for a quick preview on your show. I will be 50 years old ah! on November 13th. Three days ago, you turned 50. Happy birthday. So maybe you can make it a little birthday present. Playing uh, playing the games on your show. No, no, oh. no, no, no. It, it, it does. It, it just pauses. It has a pause. Yeah. There are not many Superman titles for the Atari <laughs> 2600 out there. So I wanted to code an additional one. Mm. First time I did a whole game with Assembler. Now with title screen, Superman theme, always staying at a 4K ROM space. You cannot shoot the square. Strike things, just avoid uh, to collide with them. Uh, the appearance interval uh, uh, grows from stage to stage. The square things in the intermission <laughs> level speed up at level 4. The end boss in level 8 is planned for the future. Some Phoenix inspiration. So I'm guessing a big UFO ship at the top. Uh, but this comes later. All in all, the game is a mix of classic shooter, has a strong influence from Dragonfire, Phoenix-like end boss, and will be coded in asynchronization, asynchronous playfield graphics and RAM. Figured out how to do that. Title, see title screen, Superman sign. I tried to animate the enemy ships a little more interesting. Sinus, uh, sinusoidal wave move movements and so on, but it destroys the gameplay and makes the game so much harder. So I leave that out also in saving important in memory. Hmm. I think you do have to shoot the white ships to get to the next level. <laughs> One death and you're done, though. You, you, uh, there's no, there's no lives oh, in this game. Oh, it goes back to zero. Yeah, yeah, you, you just, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a one-off and you're dead kind of thing. I'm proud to do all the enemies without flicker, except the intermission as flickering missiles and square things. The game is demanding, so now it's your turn to save Superman's homeworld. I like DC movies, but Marvel actually really sucks. <laughs> Uh, my next project will be an RPG game, and I want to do a remake of Castle Adventure. So you have to collect all the S's <laughs> without getting shot. Oh, let's start over, I bet. Yeah, probably. Uh, Google it. It's a very old graphic dungeon game for the PC. Uh, the square things also sneak up from behind you. Hardly fair. Well, yeah, that, just that means... wasn't very fair. Yeah. Well, that just means you have to stay a little bit forward. Yeah, you you, you do, can move um, right and left, so. Which is a, a definite tactic in shooters that you don't want to stay near you the wanna, bottom. Yeah, you want to move up just a little bit, but not too forward because no. things are coming forward. Ah, like that. Ah! <laughs> so this is the dragon fire he was talking about. Remember playing that game where there's a dragon going crazy in the bottom of the screen? And you have to collect all the treasure. Remember that game? too into the game. It's scary! Oh, it starts over! <laughs> you made One it to death. the second level. One death! Oh my goodness. Dodge the other things. Shoot There's... the things, dodge the other things. Yeah, that 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 summarizes the uh, gameplay for a lot of games. And I noticed you didn't hold, try to hold down the button. Uh, you oh. know what? I Sometimes holding the button doesn't time your shot the way you like it, so... But this one's very fast, so... Level 2 is fast. Level 1 is fast. Oh. Yep, one death. You have to leave a lot of room in this you, game. You have, like, even though I, I, I think you're right, you have to hit a certain score, you just have to dodge sometimes. And when those pink yeah. things come up from the diagonal behind you, it's that's really trouble. Mean. Really, really mean. Some, some oh. very nice, fast auto fire, which I love. Yeah, this is definitely dragon fire esque. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got it. Oh, leave. Level two. Good job, good job, good job. I don't think he's programmed the boss yet. So, no. ooh, the pink thing. It looks things. good. I like it. I like it. There's yeah, lots going good. on. Uh, yeah, a parallax um, uh, star field in the background. Yeah. Flickery. Damn it! Uh, and back oh, to level one. One hit death. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, so brutal. Maybe some lives would be good. Or make, make the. Um, 
Is there an easy, or easy health? hard, hard mode? Uh, no, 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 because no. hard mode can be one life. But it would be nice if there yes. was an easy with maybe three, three to five. <laughs> three to five. <laughs> three to five lives. Maybe. Oh, I like oh Charles. Charles says, uh, shoot the things, dodge the other things are my favorite games. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite type of game, too. Yeah, James Shoot likes all the things. Pick up the power-ups. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oof. This is more like dodging, because there's so many on the screen. I think level three, they start moving, like, up oh. and down, but I'm... Not Didn't sure. he say a th wave, but then he, he decided not to? Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens on level three. And he might just I get more, it. just more and more and more. Is this level three? Oh, let me out! Oh no, what's happening? Let me out! Maybe that's it. Oh, maybe. maybe. Is, oh, we'll maybe know. that's as far as it goes. See if you can make it to that one. Because <laughs> he said it's not done yet. Oh. Level two is fast, yeah, and it fills the screen, which is hard because you can't always shoot them. Just, just for the record, I like hitting the button. Do you? Yes, I okay. do. Like holding the button, just not as satisfying. True. Although your hand does start to get cramp. Get the tactile feedback. Yeah. Yeah. You do get the hand cramping after a while. Oh, come on, start hitting them. Just remembered about my retro tank and got sad. Oh no! No, don't get sad. See what I can do for Friday show, but at least there's a solution. Oh, I made it to level two again. Careful. Ah! Oh! Dodging the pink thing! The Zodmobile. Let me try once more and see if maybe I just wasn't doing it right to get out of uh, level two, part two, I guess. Right, it doesn't sound like a shooter without the click, click, click. Click, click, click. Although, in this case, it's just the controller, the um, yeah. arcade joystick. Um, the volume was adjusted for the title screen, but I think the shooting is very quiet on this one. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So the, the music is very loud, but yeah. the shooting's quiet. There's no music right now, though. And no. you said it's a work in progress. Yes. Yeah. So you can still change yeah, the volume. Yeah, still adding stuff. Neil before Zod. <laughs> I, I guess it is Zod. It's a Z. Yeah. Or Z for Americans. Mm-hmm. Ivory Tower says, if you're sad now, wait until you see my FBPM to you about shipping. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the shipping kills you every time. Okay, can I get... Oh, I made it. Weird. Wait, what was that? That was... But this is level... Oh, you're orange. Oh, that was weird last time. Yeah, I couldn't oh, get they... out. Do they look a little different? Uh, like maybe. they have a line in the middle instead of a circle, or maybe, maybe. I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. I'll stay at the top and just shoot the guy at the top. <laughs> Much Carefully, more he doesn't safe. come from behind, though. That's true. And he's coming from the top, <gasps> actually. He, he would have gotten you there. Yeah. Ah. 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 Oh, made it again. Oh, they are oh, different. They are different. Okay. Slightly different shapes. I yeah, I remember so. an earlier version of this. They did move up and down and all over the place. Oh, oh they're yeah. They're different speeds. There was some. There was a slow one there. Mm hmm. Was he always in the middle? Just to fake you out there. Ooh, the slow one's in the middle. I'm staying here. <laughs> yeah, I'm staying in the middle. Plus, it's away from the edges. For the pink thing. Needs to give it a name. <laughs> Watch out for the pink block. I see whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In my mind's eye, it's a prism. Prism, yeah. Because don't they pull prisms out of the ice castle or something? I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe. Some glass prism -y things. They, it does I don't look know. like I... a prism that's like the thing that separates colors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was oh my close. gosh, you almost died there. Oh, that's so fast now. Oh. Whoa. Oh, doing well. well. I only stopped last time because I couldn't progress. <laughs> well, I do like shooters, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nice. I yeah. like how, how the uh, enemies are changing shape and looking different. Yeah, and it's nice to have a second screen. Purple? To, um, Purple level? 
change up the way. Level five. The waves. Mm -hmm. Wave five, maybe. Yeah, wave five. Did anyone see 1978 Superman in the theater? Yes. Like, kid me. Yes, I did. I didn't, but I do remember seeing Superman. But I saw I all been, those films. I saw E.T. E. in the, the young... theater. I... Did I see E.T. in the Damn theater? it. Good job. Pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, good, uh, good start on the game. Um, I think he needs to bring back the movement up and down of the enemies, like just a little bit of movement mm -hmm. up and down, because I, I kind of liked it when he had that in there. It uh, changed up the gameplay quite a bit. But uh, good start, good job, Darth Tom. Um, so tonight we are actually doing an after dark. Um, it's a graphical adventure game, mm -hmm. uh, Stormbringer. Yes, which on is in the other room. I don't have the cartridge on the seventy eight hundred. Oh uh, no, it's on the Jaguar. Oh, it is on the Jaguar. Okay, and also already forgotten. We are going to play Jumping at Shadows before okay. that. It's okay. a very quick game. Is that on the Jaguar? It's too? a demo. Yep, okay. both on the Jaguar. It's already loaded on the multi cart. Stormbringer. Stormbringer. What yeah. did I say? Did I say Storm Chaser? No, I thought you said Stormbringer. Okay, I don't good. Know. <laughs> I missed. Um, Stormbringer, yes. Um, and I'm, Cyrano is in the chat. Excellent. So that is the developer of both of these games. Nice, nice, Your nice. Your score is gone pretty quickly after you died. Yeah. We'll have to rewind it. Jumping at shadows, yeah. That, uh, which can have two connotations. You're jumping because there's shadows, or you're jumping at the shadows. Mm. Jumping because you saw a shadow. Yeah. I wonder which one it is. Hmm. Jumping towards or jumping because, yeah. Uh, I did see Gremlins in the theater. They only, I did not see Raiders of the Lost Ark till like 10 years ago. Yeah, they said and they're it, showing them in the local theater Oh, soon. very cool. Yeah. And, and from an <sighs> opinion of a person who watched Raiders of the Lost Ark decades after it came out, it's a good movie. Yeah. It holds up <laughs> yeah. to modern sensibilities. Yeah. yeah. We went together to see one of the art the art director was giving was a talk. Director. So they had the movie and then the art director yeah. talk about it afterwards. And James had never seen it. I'm like, well, we have to go. Yeah, exactly. They're fantastic perfect films. Perfect opportunity to, yeah. to see it, actually. Um, was it Raiders? Or? Yeah, it was, it was Raiders. Raiders. It was the first one. Because I... Had, yeah. I had uh, seen the third one. Temple I'd of never Doom seen the first. and um, The Last Crusade, right? I, yeah. Yeah. I'd, uh, I'd not seen the... S yeah, I'd seen the second and third, but not the not first. Not the first. Isn't that funny? Actually, I think I saw the fourth one before I saw the first one. Oh, the fourth one. Maybe? Oh, Lord. It's terrible. Yeah. That um, was a travesty. <laughs> Didn't even make sense. Yeah. Um, so... VHS. I was... Yeah, I saw... like. I think I might have seen E.T. in the theater, but I was a big wuss for anything too scary, so I didn't see a lot of those films in, yeah. until I was older. So so yeah. we're going to be back in about a half an hour. Half I, an hour. I expect, yeah. Okay, so not 10 minutes, half an hour. Yeah, but I'll put up, I'll put up the countdown and everything so people can see as it counts down. We'll go okay. away and... So if you stay on the stream, you'll see the countdown, and and then you can kind of go and get a drink, and then come back, and okay. we'll be playing some more uh, some more games, okay. some Jaguar games. Okay. So thank you for tuning in, Neo Media, Caffeman Two D, Cyrano, uh, J, Vitoko, uh, Chitlitla, uh, whose name now I recognize from the uh, people scrolling on the list. Yes. Subscriptions. Yeah. Uh, Dan AVC, Ivory Tower Collections. Did you say Cafe Man? Cafe Man 2D, maybe. BR Pocot. BR Pocot. Miss Command. Oh, you miss Command. Yay. Uh, Nano, Nano Chess, of Chess whose game we played. Yep. Atari 800 XL Rules. Nostalgia. Carl G. Uh, Neo Media. I'm sure we're Pseudo saying Graphics. Nice. Rendered Ghost, probably. Trey Guy. Yep. Um, uh, Al Nefer. Lots of people. Smoked. 3D4. Lots of people. Yeah. Uh, Good I think we today. got it all. Yeah. There we go. So, Blondie, yes. Woo. Yeah, we, we saw, saw her. We saw Blondie in uh, LA. A couple last, months ago. Last Half a year ago? Spring. Yeah. This spring. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, good actually. It, yeah. She was excellent. And Brainerd yeah. Ghost. Yeah. So we will be back very shortly. Stay tuned or reconnect or whatever. We'll be back in about half an hour. So watch the countdown. So mm -hmm. we'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Yeah.